All right, so I'm on my way to the barbershop and whatnot, and I was sitting here thinking, just got off the phone with one of my guys, we had a conversation, and I felt like it's a topic that everyone needs to, you know, be aware of if you're trying to be successful in any in any part of the game, especially music, but really any part, any any type of business, and that's understanding the balance of time and money. All right, now there's only there's there's really only two things that's gonna drive you to where you want to be outside of, of course your hard work your team your dedication all those other factors but from a business standpoint a strictly business standpoint after you've done the personal work that you have to do to become successful in your craft and in your art and you know, making your product a service you got to understand that it's, it's going to come down to time or money right that time is going to be spent you know most likely with your relationships right let's say you want a dj to play your record there's only two ways that record's getting played you know, if it's unknown and it's not already the hottest thing in the streets, right? There's only two ways it's getting played. One, you got the money to pay the DJ consistently or on a monthly basis or to pay their coalition or team or organization of DJs to keep your record in rotation, okay? And number two is you build a relationship with the leaders or the individual DJs from those organizations and, you know, you get to the point where you're tired enough where they want to play your record. They believe in you enough, they want to play your record, all right? It's the only two ways it's getting played. Now, if you go to the network and I want to get cool with your way, understand that that's going to take time because you can't forge a fake relationship and expect people to give you real spins understand what I'm saying if you really want to create some organic you're gonna spend time really getting to know that individual you guys have to honestly bond with one another you know to the point where they really want to rock with you on that level and provide what they normally charge for for free you see what I'm saying? That may take three months. That may take six months. That may take a year, depending on, you know, your vibe, that person's vibe, your availability. And in the process of doing so, if you're going to create it real and organic, it's going to be it's going to cost you money. You're going to hang out. You're going to go different places. You're going to spend money anyway in the process of making it happen. However, you're going to spend far less money building a relationship than you would trying to pay for the services out of pocket. However, it's going to take more time. And it's going to take some money. The only way to be successful doing the time, of, using the time and money strategy is you're always going to be about 70, 30 with something. You're either going to spend 70% of your time in order to spend 30% of the money. And, you know, 30%, the, the, the percentage may be off. You may, you know, they may give you a 50% discount or whatever. But, you know, to, to save money, right? You're going to give up 70, leaning toward the 70% section, right? Or you're going to be spending 70% of the money because you have to, still build that relationship with the individual for them to take you serious for them to want to you know be passionate about playing your music you can't just give somebody a check and expect them to do something that's in that's in any field you give people the money but it doesn't mean that they're going to be skilled at what they do they're going to be passionate about what they what they do or they're going to take your money and perform to the best of their ability the only way you get the best out of people even when you cut them a check is you have to have some type of, of oversight someone's building a relationship with that individual or you're coaching that individual and helping that individual to help execute what you're paying them to do Right? So even still, you can't just cut a check and spend no time and expect something to get done. So even if you were trying to, going back to the DJ example, trying to get the DJ to play your record and you cut him a check, he's not going to play that record as consistently or he's not going to think about you as often as he should once he spends that money. It's over. In his mind, he spent the money. He's on to the next thing, but he's supposed to be continually playing your record. Only way he's going to remember that, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be playing this record is if you guys have some type of rapport. He sees you around. You know, you've spoken from time to time. You text the guy. You're on Instagram. You like a picture. I don't, I don't know your method. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you're communicating, but there has to be some level of communication. If you're expecting, uh, you know, uh, a decent return. Oh, I'm driving, y'all. If you're expecting a decent return. So I wanted to just take the time and, you know, give you guys some information in reference to the time versus money, you know, paradigm. Now, the percentages aren't going to exactly equal 70, 30, but that's the amount of effort that you're going to have to apply to get what you want done. 70% of your effort into the check will, will, will leave you with only having to spend about 30% of the time actually bonding with the person. You'll save your time. Or you can put 70% of your efforts into bonding with an individual and that will you know save you 30% of the effort that you'll probably end up spending you know, uh, from a financial standpoint, if that makes any sense. All right? I'm just here you know, give you guys some information like I normally do. I'm starting to be a little more mobile. I realize I haven't been able to communicate with you guys as often as I want to because honestly, I'm busy. I'm doing
doing shit. So it's hard to sit down in front of the camera and just talk all the time, but I really wanna make this thing, you know, pop off uh, with phase six and provide you guys with, with information consistently and things that you guys can use to help yourselves in your career. So you may see more videos on the go like this. But uh, as you know, it's your boy, Sir Love. I don't know everything. But I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot. And uh, as I always do, I'm going to give you everything that I got every single time. So tune in, phase six, go to the website, get some more information there, check out some more videos. I'm going to keep giving it to you raw, no chaser, off the top, just information that you know I've gathered over the years working with different executives and professionals um, and being a fly on the wall. So uh, take this with you. It's your boy Sir Love signing out, man. On to the next. Y'all enjoy y'all day.